Here's a text from a lady. She says that she's married and she and her husband have two young children. She wants to know, do they need a trust? And the answer is yes. People are using trusts generally for the purpose of avoiding probate, and people want to avoid probate these days because it's expensive. That's the reason why most people use a trust. Mm -hmm. But for this couple that has young children, they'll be using a trust. And when I say trust, we're all talking about the same thing, a revocable living trust. They're all the same thing, just generally called a trust. And for her, she'd be using it for the purpose that if they mom and dad both passed away, they can't turn their wealth over to young kids, minor kids. Their wealth we would put into this trust would be used for the children's benefit to help them go to college, help them buy a car, help them buy a house. And then typically the children don't get that money until they reach age 25 or 30 or 35, whatever the client wants. And that's a second reason for people with young kids to do a revocable living trust. Yes, it's important. And again, once again, people don't realize that the tool that is required when you do have young children is that you have to use a trust. I had a client last week and she did something that it's not all that unusual. And she named, so she's a single mom. Mm -hmm. She named her mom as a beneficiary with a young child. She named her mom as a beneficiary of her IRAs and life insurance. And she said, yeah, if I pass away, all my wealth goes to my mom. And I know that she will take care of my child. Mm -hmm. And I say, you know, the instant flaw of that problem is, is, okay, you pass away. Now your mom inherits everything. What happens if she passes away? Where's your wealth going to go then? I don't know. You don't know. We don't know. Correct. Not a good plan. Correct. Yeah. And it's not unusual. I've had other clients come in and say, Tom, uh, if we pass away, our our kids are going to go live with my brother. I named my brother as a beneficiary of all my IRAs and life insurance. Mm -hmm. So he'd use that money to take care of my kids. Not a good plan. Correct. A living trust is a better plan. Right. And uh, so, folks, if you want some help with your estate planning, we'd be pleased to assist you at the Olson Law Group. My name is Tom Olson. The name of the show is Olson on Law.